You know, there are better ways to seek out our enemies than, well, standing here. I never embark on a journey without a good book to accompany me. Oh my god, I can't believe my eyes. How can she lift that massive rock all by herself? She's got to be one of those Adepti, surely. Oh, mighty Adeptus, please give me your blessing so that in the coming year I may reap a more bountiful salary. This is top tier in size and quality, and the condition it's in is quite simply immaculate. Congratulations, this item is approved for submission. I'm going to award you full marks for the Sunset Vermilionite item. May I take your name? My name isn't important. I'm not even here to compete. I was just delivering this for some other people. They should be here any minute now. Kira, and Ningguan's little helper! Ah, so you're the ones behind this. No wonder. The rarest talent turns in the rarest plostrite specimen. But I have to correct you on one point. It's not helper, it's secretary. <laughs> okay then, Miss Secretary, what do you think of the rock we found? Pretty amazing, right? In truth, it is the finest piece of plostrite we have received so far. If everything goes according to plan, we will use this piece in the foundation of the Jade Chamber, which will enable us to proceed to the next stage of construction. As a side note, Lady Ningguang has rented some dwellings in the nearby area to serve as accommodations for the contestants. If you need a place to rest, you are welcome to stay there. Now, please excuse me. As you can see, there is still a lot of work to do on the building site. Shenhua! Shenhua! Just now on the way over, pretty much everyone was singing your praises! Oh, really? What kind of Strange. Aren't you happy about it? Whenever 
Paimon gets praised, Paimon can't help but hold their head up high and break into a big, smug smile. I've had similar compliments before. They call me an adeptus, treat me with great deference and respect, as if I'm set apart from the common folk. Yeah, because that's how adept I are. At least the ones we've met are pretty unique and reclusive, too. Way different than normal people. But uh, I am not... Uh... Jenna? I'm fine. I've been exerting myself quite a lot ever since we set foot in that abode. Uh, I'm just a little fatigued. Um, well, Byron said that there are some makeshift hotels we can use, right? Let's go check in and take a rest. <sighs> no need. I simply need to find myself a secluded place in the wilderness to sit and meditate in silence. You can't do that. It's dangerous out in the wild on your own. When you're hungry, you go and eat something tasty. And when you're tired... Okay. If you insist. Great! Now we're talking! Let's head to our hotel! Hi there! Checking in, are we? You're just in time. We only have two rooms left. Since this was chosen as the building site for the new Jade Chamber, we've had a constant stream of people in this area. And not just workers, either. Visitors, business people, tea sellers, all sorts. So, business is booming for me today. Very few vacancies. You're lucky you got here when you did. Great! One of your rooms is still being cleaned. I, I guess it should be ready within the hour. The other room is just at the door on the left. Here are your keys. All right. Hope you enjoy your stay. Please excuse me. I'll leave you to it. Sheila, you should go get some rest. We'll hang around outside until the other room's ready. Hyman's gonna go see if there's anything good to eat around here. <laughs> Hyman couldn't help but notice one of the guests walk in with a huge huge grilled chicken drumstick before. Let's buy one for Shenhua, too. She can have it as a midnight snack. Or save it for breakfast tomorrow. <sighs> All right. I will head to my room for now. If you need anything, don't hesitate to disturb me. I'm a light. Mm-hmm. See you tomorrow. One trusts you have met Shen He. So, are you getting along quite well? So far, 
are so good. Yeah. So, you know Shenhua too, Cloud Retainer? Naturally. Save for Ganyu, who spends the majority of her time in Liyue Harbor. All the Adepti living today are acquainted with Shen He, to some degree. Cool! So, what's her Adeptus name anyway? Calling her Shen He feels kind of friendly, but also kind of disrespectful. So Paimon's thinking, maybe it'd be better if we called her by her Adeptus name instead! Her Adeptus name? Why, pray tell, would Shen He have an Adeptus name? On this latter point, you are correct. However, Shen He is human. Oh, oh, right. What? You knew already? Do you mean to... Ah, oh, one first inside was Shen He, then aged around six years old. That sounds so... When one arrived, she had already... Been... That she was a... One dealt with... In other words... Not necessarily. Still... Alas, the mortal world is rife with suffering of every kind. Indeed, however, moon carved red ropes. It is only by fate that people's paths may cross. Oh, now Paimon gets. Huh. Ning Guang once made a bold. That if she hand, let us conclude our. So, Shenhua isn't an adeptus after all. She just. Okay. Master has relayed my situation to you, I take it. Oh? How did you know? I'd intended to wait and I was worried that something on top of this. You have been act after all. <laughs> it's okay. The fault is my for this. To be fair, anyway. Got it. Great! But before we do after all. Chicken drumsticks on the way back last night. There was a place just outside. Here's one for you, Shenhua. Try it. They're so good. I concur. It has a rich flavor, far more agreeable than those I've cooked for myself in the wilderness in the past. Once the plus, the remainder of the... Miss Bywin, we brought some new materials to submit. One moment. I'll be right... The construction work has only been able to progress this rapidly thanks to the plus right provided by you. Lady Ning Wong is most grateful and looks forward to seeing more of your work. Wow. Can't believe you... Wait. Uh, pleased to meet you. Edo? <laughs> sure am. Huh. Oh, I've got some introductions to do. This is the renowned Miss Yun, or Yun Jin. Greetings. These two are Paimon and the Traveler. I'm sure you've heard of them before. Shen <laughs> Good to meet you. 
Well, Miss Yoon is also- It's an honor to finally meet you both. I've heard much about you. Miss Shenhe, though we are only meeting for the first time, I have a feeling that we will get along very well indeed. To be honest with- Wow! Excuse me for prying, Miss Shenhe, but are you competing as well? No, I don't have any questions for Ning Wang. I just wanted to help him win. In that case, I have a proposal to make. Lady Ningguang said that the first three contestants to procure all three materials will be awarded the chance to... Instead of competing against... Sounds great. <laughs> the plus right with that I do. Precisely. Huh. Okay, then. From what I've heard... We will head into town and seek advice from Master Zhang. Wonderful. I'm gonna take off. See you later. Okay. Uh, by the way... I'm looking for a venue to host the performance of our new opera. Lady Ningguang has excellent judgment. Ooh, what? The opera is a... It's called... Where I'm from, if we didn't keep moving, we'd freeze to death. Literally. For something off the shelf, or do you need something forged? Excuse me, Master Zhang. We were wondering if you'd heard of something called a Wonder Core. Of course I have. Sorry, um, who's asking? My name is Yunjin. Perhaps you don't know me, but I believe that you forged some weaponry for my father in the past for stage use. Yunjin? Stage use? Oh, so <clears throat> you must be Miss Yoon. <clears throat> Sorry. My brain's finally caught up. Uh, it's not used to doing much beyond bashing a hammer all day. <laughs> Everyone's heard of you, Miss Yoon. Even folks who don't make it to the opera all that often. <laughs> like myself. So, you're here to ask about wonder cores, huh? As it happens, I do know how to make them. Matter of fact, I made some for Lady Ningguang back when she was building the original Jade Chamber. The types of ore needed to make wonder cores are a little hard to come by. Lady Ningguang supplied them herself last time. I don't suppose you've brought any yourselves? No. We were gonna ask you what kinds of ore we need. <laughs> sure. Well, you'll need two kinds. Star Splinter Iron and Subrosium. If I remember correctly, Lady Ningguang sourced her Star Splinter Iron from the Mount Tianhung area. They say it resonates with visions. It could take some work, but if you stick with it, you'll find some eventually. As for the subra- Uh, of course, it's probably- Mount Tianhung. Interestingly enough, the sto- I hear the view there is quite spectacular. Perhaps it can give- to Mount Tianung once with my father as a child. I remember it being such a long climb that I could barely feel my legs by the time we reached the top. <laughs> this is quite a trip down memory lane for me. No wonder the legend of the, di the divine di What's the story of that? It's the story of a girl. Cool. The legend first arose in that village. There was a loving couple who were completely devoted to one another. One day, a terrifying monster appeared. The wife was out collecting herbs and was captured by the monster. Her husband was so distraught at the news that it broke his spirit and drove him to madness. The vile and vicious monster told the villagers, If you want to live, you must sacrifice a child to me. What a nasty piece of work! 
Paimon sure hopes this monster gets put in its place! But the monster was so terrible and so strong that all within the village were terrified of it. They had no choice but to give in to the monster's demand. Just while they were discussing whose child would be given over to the monster, a little girl suddenly stood up and came forward. No! Don't do it, little girl! Unbeknownst to anybody else, she was concealing an exorcist's blade. She approached the monster's lair, feigning fear and trepidation. When she finally arrived, she curried her extraordinary abilities and so, destined to grace the mortal realm for but a brief moment. I really like this story, but I personally, I'm not sure she... Hmm. Opera is always a when my father wrote this movie. Hmm. village on our way here. Master John said we should ask the locals for help. Why don't we try there? Hey, there really is someone here. Yunjin, looks like you were right. <gasps> huh. He Hello, sir. We <gasps> is he trying to tell us to look for clues in the village? Shenma! Sorry, you can go ahead without me. I'd like to have a word with this gentleman. If that's okay with you, Uncle Ming Jin. It's... It's... Shen He. Shen He. You're alive. I'm sorry, I don't know how to find Subrosium. But I... This place is deserted. Huh? Uh... Thank you, kind sir. Well, don't worry. Mingjin has no... Okay. The remains 
of a god, an abandoned village, Mount Tianhong. Does this mean that the true story of the Divine Damsel of Devastation happened right here, in this village? The time frame certainly matches. She does behave rather like an adeptus, and she is about the right age, so that's why I've been getting the strangest feeling whenever I chat with her. According to this text, the divine damsel from the opera was actually the daughter of the loving couple, and she didn't volunteer. She was sacrificed to the monster by her own father. Oh. The truth is even more lamentable than the opera. Now I understand why Shen He said the girl was not as brave as people think. Oh, it looks like... back visiting. I, I was a very close friend. I bring flowers back here. Apologize for what? There is nothing he wouldn't have done for him. Do you still... I don't know what I feel. So if you ask me... It must have been so tough. Shenha! We're back! Oh, then I will leave you all in peace. I'll tell you more about the... Thanks, mister! Let's go then. Uh, Miss Shenha, there's something I'd like to talk to you about just now in the village. Why? I know I say that opera always. It's okay. Um, but, uh, My master once said that the dip so. I hope that one. But I've never thought this way before. Don't worry. I believe, in fact, I think maybe. Shenha! Yunjin! Cut the chick! We can't let someone else be. Thank <laughs> you. 
what brings you here? Have they found a solution to the danger in the sea? Nin Guang didn't. Something has happened in Guyan, but these things can be unpredictable. Only a single mountain li If things get out of control, some top quality or you've guessed now it's my time hey everyone how's the a-team doing i ran into a leave the wonder course to it don't worry much obliged master i'll sort that out oh uh, yes when we first met in fact i came specifically to deliver master also said she maybe it won't work for me to without knowing the in the now that our path thank you so master fine by me i'm a Sigils are ready. I've finished forging the things you asked for, too. Great! Let's go submit them before someone else gets there. The Wonder Claw is in a de I hereby announce that the winners of this material procurement contest are the Traveler, Yunjin, and Beidou. What? It's over already? I haven't even found the plush strike yet. Oh, I can't believe it. Uh, so close, but so far. I'd like to invite our three winners to please proceed to the J- Huh? Where's Beidou? She was right here! Captain Beidou has some business to attend to. All right then, guess we'll head up. This has been a whole- Combine the Adepti sigils with the Wonder Cores and insert them into the Jade Chamber's control compartment. The construction of the new Jade Chamber is now officially complete. Thank you. Yeah! Miss Yun. I've already- That's right. Lady Ningguang, I would like to hear your- The unveiling of Miss Yun's grand new opera surely requires a venue of equal grandeur. So what would you say if I proposed that we stage your first performance right here, in the newly built Jade Chamber? The Jade Chamber offers a splendid panoramic view of the mountains and the bustling city. It is fitting for the finest performance to be hosted in the heavens. I can think of- Thank you, Lady Ningguang. Then I will prepare my props and other articles shortly. Please allow me to bring all these aboard the Jade Chamber. You're quite welcome. Oh, the Traveler, Shenha, Paimon, I'll be leaving now. Do come and see my play when the time comes. You're next. What is your question? I should clarify. I do not know your sister's whereabouts. Please, don't waste your question on this matter. Wow. You're a mind reader, Ningle. Managing a successful business is not as simple as if you want to know how. Wow. 
Your question was, so I promise you that should you one day... Re oh, great! So next time we run out of Mora, we just need to come to Ningguang? No more questions from us. Shenha, you got a qu- Me? Yes, this is a... Thank you. But are you sure? This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Yeah, just don't waste it. Lady Ningguang. Do you think I can ever fit in in- Now that is an in- Liyue Harbor, so the key- oh. Yes. Perhaps someone you've met, or in short. Oh. Hey, what's going on? I just went to see the fleet a little later than expect- Come on, Beidou! Me? <laughs> nah, I ain't Ningguang. It's not gonna be easy to- do Don't worry. <sighs> Glad to hear it. Watch your- Beidou? Ningguang? You'll see when the Jade Chamber ascends. However- it's not the most pleasant topic of conversation. When I first set foot in the Jade Chamber, I stood at the edge of the platform. At that time, my wish has not changed to this very day. How I hope the Jade Chamber will always float in the skies above Leo Harbor, and I hope that you can all witness it with me. Let the Ascension Ceremony commence! Osiris' wife, final follower of the Overlord of the Vortex. Sounds like you knew this was coming! Beto sensed something was stirring in the deep. She warned me months ago. Knowing she harbors hatred toward the Jade Chamber, I chose to rebuild it now as a way of drawing her out. Got it. Well, <laughs> let's go fetch the Adepta. No. Huh? In this human age, the people of Liyue must find a way to overcome this crisis on our strength alone. Child, your life brings nothing but disaster to us all. At least if you die, I can bring her back. The day you learn how to use your strength for the good of others is the day that you can truly become part of human society.
What are you doing here? We can't let you be the only one taking this risk! I hardly see this as a great risk. The people of Liyue Harbor are well prepared, and she is already badly injured. Only sheer willpower is keeping her alive. I may be nearing the end of my stamina, but in a fight to the death, I think I have the upper hand. This place is unstable. It is too risky. I'm just a little exhausted. Otherwise, I wanted to deal with it myself. I did. Don't worry. She's not coming. How did things go underwater? It's been dealt with. Good. Lady Ningguang. The fleet reports that the sea monster has left Guyan's... Thank you. 
Thanks to the medical... Of course, we owe huge thanks to this young lady for her help. On behalf of the entire Melilith. I... Uh... Great. I wasn't trying to be... Let the soldiers recoup... Yes, ma'am. You've been monitoring us for some time now. I... Hmm. You wish that, I do not deny. If it came to it, I could always destroy another Jade Chamber. One has observed your adaptation of the Guizhong Bullet. You have learned from hence on balance. One finds your performance during this trial satisfied. While well, the position Shenhe, hopefully this. Yes, I feel happier than I. Mm. In fact, there'll. Oh, fine. Since you care not to listen, one shan't be telling you. One shall be going home, please. Have a good rest. We must celebrate, but. Here are my distinguished guests. I am determined that each of you thoroughly enjoys yourself. Those who don't drink alcohol, please, help yourself to other beverages. Have you heard? Miss Yun's going to be performing today. Sure have. Honestly, it's the main reason I'm here. I've ne I hear she's going to perform the Divine Damsel of Devastation today, the one written by her father. I've been so excited that I've- Hey, look, Miss Yun is going on stage.
，彼时鹤归，茫茫天地无依靠，孤身离去。今日再会，新朋旧友坐满堂，共聚此时。Did you think? Personally, I thought I sang rather well. It was beautiful. Kaima wants to learn too. It was wonderful. Also, thank you. You're welcome. Thanks to you, the divine damsel of devastation is a more nuanced tale than ever. The play has an ending, but life goes on. I believe you will find a way to fit in in Li Yue Harbor. Thank you. Oh, I think I've found the opportunity I needed to change. Ms. Yun, <laughs> here you are. Great to see you. Huh? Hey, this young lady with the white hair looks like some kind of VIP. Yeah, that's it. Like an adeptus. Wait, you're the girl from the opera, aren't you? Let me pull up a chair. All right. We'll all have a friendly chat. <laughs> Alternatively, you could leave us alone. Uh oh, this feels all too familiar. Hey, what are you doing? Calm down, Shenha. Calm down.
Time to lose.
Snowing in Snesh Naya too. Time to lose. 
From the looks on your faces, it seems like you're having fun. It's Lisa, you're here! We loved playing to- Thanks for playing. Oh, no, wait. Aw, thank you for being so considerate. But if it helps keep you happy while you stay inside the city, I'll be more- Of course, I am anyway. I have- A gift? Actually, I have a gift for Mr- We'll get to the gifts in a moment. Let me tell you the news first. That's right. Two, the knights have also determined the cause of their invasion. The species were accident- <sighs> Luckily, they didn't cause- Is it time for gifts? Of course. Clay's been returning- <laughs> When I was home at night, I flipped through Albedo's crafting book and learned to make that. Ta -da! Oh, it's yep. I made a figure that looks like the Dodo go from Dog, even though I can't- I hope it'll remind you of the fun we had. It's a storybook about Dodo. <gasps> the little cuties were together. They are most fitting. Did you plan out the whole thing? No. As the I've left a blank spot in the butt, I just thought of an even better idea. Since we're all here on this special occasion. Sure! We got to see our friends and play. 
Come on, then, Mr. Honorary Knight and Paimon. Ready, Lisa? We had so much fun today. Three, two, one. This place is pretty dead. Ad Astra, thank you for com- Ad Astra at- 